So for cash discount, for cash discount, for page 45 now, cash discount is given to customers or suppliers that give to, you can give it to customers, you can give it to suppliers. So if you are giving, the discount is just a deduction in the amount you are supposed to pay to either your customer, that your customer is supposed to pay to you or you are supposed to pay to your supplier. That's what a discount is. So we have discount allowed. If we're talking about discount allowed, discount allowed means that you as a business, you've given a, a deduction to the amount your customer is supposed to pay you because the customer is paying within the specified period of time. That is discount allowed. Then discount received. Discount received will come based on the fact that your supplier, you are paying your supplier, that, that's your trade payable. You are paying your supplier as a, within the specified period of time. Then the supplier is giving you a deduction in the amount you are paying. That is discount received. So we have Cishan. We discussed it already, but let me quickly explain it. It says Cishan owes us $100. Cishan is owing the business $100. On, two September, on 2nd September 2017, he pays by cash within the time limit and the business allows him 5% cash discount. So because Sishan paid immediately uh, within the specified period of time, he's entitled to 5% um, entitled to five cash discount. So 5% of $100 is $5. So 100 minus $5. So Sishan will be paying $95 as a full settlement of that account. So what is this effect? in the business account. Well, the cash, the cash because he paid, Sishan paid cash, right? So that means the cash in the business account will increase by $95. Cash is part of your statement of financial position. It would have increased. That means your asset of cash, your current asset of cash would have increased by $95. At the same time, your current asset of trade receivables would reduce by $95 because Sishan has paid. Sishan is part of your receivables, but now Sishan has paid by cash. Yes. So that's why for current assets, let me quickly tell you this. For current assets, current assets do, do not stay for more than a year. They are within a short period of time that they have to be paid back. So the essence of current assets is to turn to liquidity. That means whatever is in the current asset must become cash as soon as possible. So trade receivable is part of the current assets which means trade receivable must turn to cash as soon as possible. As Sishan is paying, it pays cash. So your asset of trade, current asset of trade receivables of $95 would have been reduced. Your asset, your current asset of cash would have increased. I think that is clear. So based on that, you debit the cash account because the cash account has received $95 from Sishan and you credit Sishan account with $95. Do you get it? Sishan is paying us, that's why it's credit. We, the cash account received $95, that's why it's a debit balance. Then you credit Sishan for $5, which you are going to pay as an expenses. I think it's clear that. Mm -hmm. So then what happens again with our expenses? Our expenses will have increased by $5 because we are paying the $5 that Sishan is not going to pay to balance the transaction, which is $100. Yes. Clear, right? Yes. So then your discount allowed account will be debited because uh, your discount allowed account has received $5 as discount. Then we have an example to say a business owed Arabas $400. So Arabas here is a supplier. They paid him, that means we paid him by check on 3rd of September 2017 within the specified 30 days. So the business claimed two and a half cash percent, the two and a half percent cash discount. This is discount received from the supplier. The amount paid to Arabas would be two and a half percent of 400. So less 400, so that's $10. So Arabas will be, we'll be paying Arabas $390. I think it's clear. So what does, how does this have impact in the book of our accounts? So first, our bank, our current asset, our current asset of bank would increase by 390. Uh, our current account or asset of bank would reduce by 390 because we paid our bars by check. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. Our current assets of bank would have reduced by 390 because we paid our bars $390. At the same time, our trade payables, which its suppliers, would also reduce by $390. Do you understand? Yes. So that's the two situation for the assets and liabilities. Our assets will reduce by 390 
which is cut back, check. And our liability would, redu would reduce also by what? 390. So which account are we going to credit? Which account are we going to debit? We're going to credit bank account because bank account has paid our about $390. Then we debit our Abbas account because our Abbas account, our Abbas has received $390 from us. I think that is clear. Mm -hmm. At the same time, because we have received a discount from our Abbas, our discount received would increase by $10 in terms of revenue. Do you yeah, get it? Yeah. Then the discount receive account will be credited with $10. Clear, right? Then our Abbas will be debited with $10 debit account because it's pay our bus is gonna be the one paying the ten dollars. Same goes to when we are paying session five dollars to complete or to cancel that transaction. Is it clear? Is it clear please? So what how does it reflect in our cash flow? So we have session as our supply our creditor or our debtor which is a trade receivable and we have our bus which is our set our supplier which is trade payables. So we, our bus is going to up. Sishan is paying us $95, right? So we receive $95 from Sishan. So that's going to be in the cash book. We're going to have it as a debit balance. It's going to be debit. It's going to be on the debit side of the cash book because we receive $95 cash from Sishan. At the same time, there's a discount. There's a discount allowed, which is going to be part of our cash book, but that's going to be in the three column cash book. Not in the cash book. This is a cash book. We have three column cash book. And yes. in the three column cash book, we're going to have on the debit side, we're going to have the date, the details, the folio, the amount, uh, the discount allowed, bank or cash and bank. On the credit side, we're going to have date, details, discount received, cash and bank. Yes. So, but now we're seeing on just on the cash book. So, for the cash book, in book of Shan and book of Abbas, we're going to have debit, debit entry for Shan, credit entry for Abbas, because we paid Abbas. So your cash book, receivables are on the debit side, payables are on the credit side. So we received from Shan $95, it's going to be on the debit side. We paid our Abbas $390, it's going to be on the credit side of our cash book. Is it clear? Yeah. As soon as that is done, we open the nominal ledger. For the nominal ledger, the nominal ledger is still what we're going to put together with the cash book to form the three column cash book. So we're gonna open the nominal ledger. For the nominal ledger, we have discount allowed. This discount allowed is gonna be for who? For Sishan, because we allow, we gave Sishan a discount. So our discount allowed will be debited for $5 for Sishan. And we're gonna have discount received. Where did you receive from? We receive from our bars, right? Okay, so discount with our bars gave us a, a discount of $10. So it's going to be on the credit side of discount receipt. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. Then the trade receivable ledgers. How do we complete the trade receivable ledgers? For session, on the debit side, though, on the debit side is going to be our balance because that's the amount of money we're supposed to get from session. Yes or no? Well, session paid us, right? So in session's account, which is trade receivable ledger, session's account, we're going to have. Sishan paying us cash of $95, which is a, a debt a credit because Sishan is giving the business $95. Mm. And at the same time, the discount allowed. So on the credit side of the ledger for Sishan, it's going to be cash and the amount of discount. The total will be $100, which is going to be our balance on the debit side. That's the amount we are supposed to receive. Then the trade payables account for our bus. Our bus now, we are paying our bus. So our bus will be receiving that amount from us, yes or no? Yeah. So our bus will be debited with $390 because in, on, in bank because we pay through check. Then we'll, we'll calculate it with the discount that our bus gave us, which is $10. So it means that we're paying our bus full settlement of $400. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. Now, the cash book. This is what we call three column cash book, figure 5.17. Either. So for the three column cash book, I told you already, we're going to have the date, the details, the folio, the discount allowed on the debit side, cash and bank. Date particular, which is the same as details, folio, discount received, cash and bank on the credit side. 
and we put the amount Sishan on the debit side because Sishan paid us. That is receives. Then on the credit side, we pay payables on the credit side of the cash book. Do you have any question about that? Yes. Okay. So that's about cash discounts and cash book.